Hello, it's Daryl at 10-Foot Truck, Good Attitude Services. I just got back from the dump, now I got an empty truck. I did save uh, another table off the uh, dump run, so it's a nice last table. It's gonna be for outdoors, I don't know how big it is, but it's like a dining table. It's like a dining glass table, so I saved that. So uh, that's saved, and I have a bunch of chairs and another table, so that's saved on the, um, because it was a full truck. And I knew the table was heavy. I knew those chairs are heavy. I knew the other table was heavy, a few other things. So I saved those, because they were useful, and it reduced my cost quite a bit. I only paid $40 for a full truck of pretty heavy garbage. So that was really good. I think it's because I reduced the cost by taking the heaviest items that were useful and putting those aside, so. That was good. I had a job coming up. Um, let's go out there. I had a job coming up uh, this week, and the weather changed. Or of course, the, according to the Weather Channel, uh, the weather has changed uh, quite drastically coming up into the week. So I contacted the customer because this was going to be a big job. It was going to be probably a couple thousand dollars. So I was looking forward to it, but uh, he lives out. In a very rural area and there's a uh, back roads and it's higher um, elevation so uh, they get more snow up there than we do and it gets much colder and it's gonna drop down below freezing so I said well can we do the job earlier this week um, because I noticed the weather's not changing till till uh, later on in the week and uh, so I try to get him to move the job ahead and he wasn't really gonna be flexible with it for probably his good reasons maybe the place he's living he has to be out at a certain time and he gets the keys at a certain time I don't know but sometimes you got to make a quick decision on something like that and just go ahead and you know I lost a job he's gonna get somebody else I, I recommended he get a, a you know professional moving company in the area so they don't have to drive any ice because I don't want to drive 50 miles on my truck with no I don't have any change right now because I don't drive in the snow even if I did, I don't want to drive 50 miles in the ice and snow, especially at night coming back from the job. It was going to be minimum 16 hour job. So uh, I decided to pass on the job and sometimes you have to for safety reasons or for just to, you know, uh, also it was very, very cold weather and the job was going to be a lot of stairs. I, I did, I was the one who moved them there originally and that was in, when the weather was nice and um, it was brutal. And the thing about, I don't know if anybody here works in cold weather, but when you work in sub-zero, I mean sub, not sub-zero, um, below freezing weather, um, it's very difficult to breathe uh, because, uh, especially for me, like the last job I did, it was really cold, but not even as cold as it's gonna get. And um, I had a hard time breathing. I was a lot of, a lot of, uh, Stuff is coming, you know, this, you get this, it's almost like you have allergies, uh, um, you can strain your, your uh, nasal cavity, at least for me, I don't know if that's with everyone, but, uh, and then again, too, working extreme labor, uh, which that would have been like, probably, that job, and why I moved the guy there, was probably, the, and I've been moving furniture professionally for a long time, and I've done some jobs that were just brutal, um, that has to be the, that was the top. That was a, that was one of the worst because it was four flights up, a very st steep uh, incline, um, a lot of heavy stuff, and I did it all myself. So um, the more I thought about it, working in cold, like working in weather, not only is it hard to breathe, but working in really like freezing weather, you know, icy weather like that, it's not really, it's not, it's kind of dangerous. I mean, it's, you could slip, you could fall, going down all the stairs. Um, it's just, your blood thickens up too. I mean, you just, it's a whole different environment um, when you're working outside in cold weather. So I figure I'm not gonna risk that much. Just, I mean, it's a lot of money, but sometimes you just gotta forget about it and, and not uh, take something like that if you, if you feel it's gonna be any kind of risk that, that you don't want, especially driving icy roads and, uh, at night, um, 
I'm just gonna pass on it. So I passed on that job. So now I'm just uh, got my truck cleaned up. Possibly have a job tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow is like the last day. Actually, Thursday is gonna be when the snow starts coming in, according to what I looked at the Weather Channel. And after Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, all the way till the following week, even further on, it's gonna go sub zero. It's gonna go sub freeze, below freezing, and it's gonna get down to really cold weather for a whole entire week and a half. So we're getting our snow late this season. Normally we get it earlier. So, um, so I probably have to take a break for that week, which is fine. That's it's okay. Things will work out. Um, it's better to stay safe, you know, in my mind. I can always go out with my all-wheel drive car and do gig app deliveries and make money doing that. And that has good traction, it's safer, and I could stay closer to my area instead of having to go far out there, the rural areas. But that, you know, that job I was talking about. So, kind of wanted to update on that. I know I was looking forward to talk about that job and it was gonna be a good paying job. And it would have probably kept me pretty good for the rest of the month, but things change, the weather changes, and when it changes out here, serious it's not like oh it's gonna be a little bit of rain no it comes down it freezes it gets cold there's snow everywhere the ice there's crap there's accidents on the freeway it's, it's very dangerous and it's best to stay off the freeways during those storms um and just you know wait because i you know it's not worth it so that's about it that's how the new year is starting <laughs> got the dump run gun i got some stuff to it's good, I can be used for summertime here. So, so I'm doing that, cleaning up the truck and hopefully I'll do that job tomorrow. If not, I'll figure something else out and if the weather changes, that's okay. I already, the job's already been taken so I'll have to work on something else. But so far that's what it looks like. It's gonna be bad weather for about a week, maybe a week and a half, maybe two weeks. It's hard to say. Hope everyone's doing great in their new year, 2024 and uh, becoming prosperous and uh, ready for a, a prosperous new year. Good Attitude Services, 10-foot truck, signing out.